rehabilitation with various issues. It should be a parallel government. It should be that. But if the present government has to face three major justification issues and five accusations. The first thing is still the accusation or justification. Second thing is false accusation. The third thing is funny accusation or foolish accusation or justification. What is the justification? The first justification government says is if we don't organize this. If you don't organize this by means of proper productivity, the stocking and the sales and other things, then there is possibility of a simultaneous shadow production agency where low quality, adulterated, toxic or venomous things will be produced and they will be separated in the black market. So this thing is known as filthy, filthy justification. If you don't do this, if you don't organize this, already, what to organize it? Something which is factual and something is nonsense. And what is the principle of organizing something which is nonsense? When somebody says that they will organize something nonsense, if it don't be prohibited. So they say that if, you, if such things are coming into society, it is the duty of a masculine government to curb it with the iron chain. And they should not give the justification at all. And second thing is the justification of falsity. That should be some outlet to the people. If this is not provided, they will go for something worse. And immediately those who are drinking, they should not stop it because of various reasons. Now the stability, various other confusion will be there, dangerous will be there. There is a myth between the, most of the members of the society. It is not so that there is a strong will and strong replacement, strong training and proper means of rehabilitation by medical aid and mental aid. There are two things. One is meditative, second is medicative. If both of these unify together, immediately anybody can transform himself and transform others. It is already a false system of justification that exists in the society. The funniest thing of justification in the society is the government is saying we are also conducting rehabilitation centers, we are also organizing awareness campaigns, we are giving statutory warning in each and everything. Okay? Wherever you are doing the alcohol services, the service is perfect. Wherever you are doing anti alcoholic services, the services are perfectly. Do you pay equal attention to both of the things? You are not doing like that. Those things are given in uh, big letters and these things are given in small letters. Further, I want to suggest you this. Complete prohibition of alcohol is a motto, but you have to start with small peace agencies. What are they? Booklets ought to be published and distributed, not distributed separately like in these places. It should be compulsory made to be distributed with each and every wine bottle in the government box. It should not be subtracted in given. It should be immediately given with all of the last report, factual report, with photos and various other medical statistics. It should be provided there. Second thing, adjacent agencies. It should be compulsory that each and every bar should have an adjacent counseling centre. Third thing is, in the counseling centre, each and every bar should have a desk for the council being appointed director. Fourth thing is very funny, it may not happen, if it happens, it's okay. Sub placement. That should be a counseling centre predominantly, and there should be a bar inside, and everybody has to pass the vote in the council, then we say bar. So if these things are not given, see, if you are doing something and you won't want to do that, you should show the vehemence in prohibition rather than in inhibition. Government is not showing that. You should do it properly. At least equally you should show the answer you are not doing. This is for name and that is for game sake. And what is this rule? So we have to object this and we have to see how it is possible. Number one, there are a few accusations. I have already listed and few more things are more interesting. I have never heard about scarcity of Iraq or Lincoln. Water scarcity is there, milk scarcity is there, education poverty. Have anybody heard about the scarcity of water? It is not there. Second thing is, it is more funny. Government says that it is going to increase the funds received from this marketing for public welfare. By spoiling the public, if you get money and use it for public welfare, what type of game it is? Is it sane in nature? Can you just guess the sanity in this thing? There is nothing like that. Third thing, according to Shastras, the money that you receive from spoiling the people, corrupting their mentality, dismantling their domestic peace, integrity and welfare, that money is nothing but misery and misfortune in disguise that will invade lot of perils to the society. Lot of disasters to society, political instability, that is some from. Because the money itself is sinful, though it feels only painful experiences. How you can get gain is of pain if the money is sinful in nature? And it is more clear that if the mother is of milk, if she is giving poison, government is the mother, it should reform people and prevent them from doing such things. If it deforms the people and encourages them by creating 
policies and provisions and access and things, it is the work of the government. So it is not. So, and one more thing is already violence is there in society. By creating these things with a competitive measure in money gaining, that is political gain, clashes, groupism, violence and everything happening during the white shops. Innumerable things are being exasperated more. So these are all the accumulations in society. So I want to conclude that we have to start few things. Number one is de-addiction by means of medications. Minimization, we should see that they minimize slowly. Third, those who are fresh people, those who are going to be the would-be members of the future, we should take a strong hold from them. Positive deviation or engagement should be given to the people so that we can be prevented. And fifth thing is spiritual substitutes should be there. Then indigenous substitution is there. There are a lot of people who are working for indigenous substitution of toddy, is of various other things which are not from the other countries. So there is a limitation, there is some indigenousness. It is not preferable, but comparatively these things are to be introduced to dismantle the empire of anarchism and alcoholism. So we should slowly go for various other things in the society also. And one more thing we are researching is that there is a herbal cigarette, which gives uh, the feeling of uh, having smoked, but still it is not harmful so. It is a herbal substitute, like that, that should be something alcohol substitute which is to be innovatively designed for the benefit. And one more thing is by education, by family plantation, by spiritual guidance, and by social attitude and attitude, we should instill self-governing and counseling ability in each and every person so that he will never drink in his life at all. There is no need for drinking at all. So these eight limbs are really the essential for the society. We need skillful agents, orators or counselors, number one. Number two, we need professional doctors. The third person should be NGOs of the society, those who are very much committed for such programs. Fourth thing is media people, we should have media campaigns. Fifth thing is people like yoga, which is beyond religion, which is beyond any other specific problem, which is universal and all encompassing. We should be implanted. and yoga experts should also be there for teaching meditation and other things to society. We should have brand ambassadors. We are having for soap and other users things. We should have brand ambassadors for alcoholism also, talk to people in various celebrities level and we should see that it is being done. There is a research agency known as Global Alcohol Policy Alliance for whom there is Indian Alcohol Policy Alliance unit is there, IAPA is there. They have done a research and given few points they want to go very interesting. Number one, in all the developed countries, drinking habits are decreasing. In developing countries like India, it is increasing. Number two, nudities, pancreatitis, heart enlargement, liver damage, poor memory, lack of coordination of mind, and various other parents have been reported more by alcoholism in the frequent centuries. Recent era, it is reported more. Number three, 62.5 million records, dignified records are there in India as per report. And 80% of the people, they are going for hard liquor or alcohol where the percentage of damage is more. We are thinking that uh, we are taking high-end drinks or we are taking limited drinks, it is not that. 80% of the people consume hard alcohol which is very, very pernicious to health as well as to the social integrity of all. Then the rate of growth of this noble deed is increasing 8% per year. 40% of the people only consume branded liquor, so 60% of the people are put in distress. They consume something and they are going to suffer and they are suffering at all. And one more interesting report is in the year 1950 to 60, the people those who are going for this drinks, they are between the age group of 23 to 26. Now 18 to 90 research report says that 19 to 45 is the age group who are going for drinking. So we can see a lot of youngsters budding and blossoming youngsters and students holding bottles instead of their books in various shops. You can see that daily you are seeing that. So that is also being improved. It is only because of the reason that 25,000 crores that is the income that we are getting this thing without minding what is that for the future of the children, future of their dynasty and future of the society. It is a big social disaster. Alcoholism is an economic disaster. It is a global active disaster. We should consider it. It is a country that has a misbehavior and a small bad habit. It is not so. It is a global thing. So they have given this report. In spite of this income, Mizoram, Manipal, Nagaland and Gujarat, they have totally privatized this income. How they could run the government successfully like the government like Gujarat? So we should create a public, positive, democratic protest and consensus to be presented so that it can be totally coherent.